Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today we've got two units here, two brand new units in the game, as you can see in this little video. First off, we see, well, I guess the elephant in the room, the giant woolly mammoth. Look at those tusks. Kind of reminds me of like a tube of toothpaste in a way. And these guys are really cool. It's part of the new Stone Age faction that we placed in the game. Uh, look at how he just cleaves back and forth and left and right through the hordes of, I guess that's another new unit, some sort of spear Spearmen, maybe. Uh, I don't know what it would be, but they're like a stone spearman. You see the little arrowhead on those uh, those things are just a little bit different than than normal. Uh, look at look at a swing back and forth. Look at that trunk moving. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna be my favorite unit in the game. I say that every time we see a new unit, and these guys are absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at this! They're raining from the sky. We have four woolly mammoths coming down. It looks like a big puddle of play-doh. Like when you throw play-doh on the tabletop, that's what it looks like, doesn't it? Look at how they just move and hit each other. That is so awesome. They're doing a really, really good job on the, the low poly art of these things. I love it. Look at it. Look at the little tusks, though. The guys are flying around. Oh, this might. This is a really, really cool um, new unit in the game. The tusks maybe need a little more work, but I think it's all right. Uh, also, they don't have eyes. <laughs> Surprise! They're blind. But uh, Landfall did say that they are currently working on a new eye mechanic and and how the eyes are implemented in the game. So probably when we get a new release of that, we'll we'll see that sometime in the future. But look, you can see the arrowheads right there, uh, right up in the beginning. You see the arrowheads in the new spears. Totally cool unit. Uh, I'm guessing that's part of the Stone Age faction too. Oh, cleaves back and forth. And there's some more guys in the background over there. There's one blue unit. You see that? There's a blue unit on the back and another little battle going on in the back of the background. Huh, that was interesting. I didn't see that the first time. Oh, look at him stomping trampling things. Okay, now watch this. He's gonna fall from the sky yet again and flash down in. Oh, that guy's got the sword right at his buddy's throat. Now watch. Splat down right on top of him. Looks like they get crunched a little bit. The legs flying all over the place, flopping around, and oh, rolling over on top of the footman. Such a cool, cool unit. I really love these dudes. I'm going to play it a third time because this is going to be a ton of fun to play with. Okay, and let's see if we can we can just look at those those other units way in the background of this clip too. Maybe there's something hidden in secret back in there. If you guys have any thoughts what it might be hidden in the back, probably from the Stone Age faction. Oh, it might have been a, a sling unit. Did you see that? Kind of looks like he's got a slingshot out in front of him a little bit. Some sort of uh, ranged unit it looks like between his legs. Huh. I did not see that. Oh, there he comes. Swinging back and forth again. Yeah, smacking, smacking the little... Uh, what are they called? What would you think these guys are called? The uh, the new spearmen. I guess it'd probably be just like a Stone Age spearman or some other unit. But there is that guy in the background there. It looks like he does have some sort of a sling or a, um, something else. I'm going to blow that up here as soon as we see this clip and we'll take a look at what those might be. And, oh, let's see. What happens now? Oh, they're going to fall from the sky. That is right. There's four of them coming down. Now, I wonder if um, I wonder if these are going to be like the horses, and it, they might be where they're going to ride on top. We'll have a unit that rides on top of the, the woolly mammoth. I love it. They, they look like they're just so fluffy and cuddly and deadly. <laughs> and the trunk moves around. This must have been a fun one to animate and, and let it roll. So let's go look at those other things. Okay, so I've zoomed it in. And have slowed it down to four times speed. And now let's see what we can see behind the trunk of the elephant there. Look, see him in the background? There's a little blue unit right back there, stomping through the legs. It does look like he's a some sort of ranged unit. Does he have a slingshot? I can't quite tell. Is he, he is blue? I can see that. Oh, he's got I can't tell what that is. It's a whip? Is it a whip? He's swinging back and forth almost like a whip. What was that? Let's watch again. Oh, look at the the spear is even a little bit. Oh, it might be a distortion in the video. I thought the spear might have been a little bit twisted like a tree branch. But look at this guy in the background. You see that little blue dude back there? Who is he? What does he have? Do you guys have any ideas on who this dude might be? I don't know. You see that little the little red guy or the little blue guy right in the back? But he's he's swinging at him. Uh, what is he swinging? Is it like a a rock thrower or a dust thrower? I have I have no idea what this thing is. This is really cool. I'm, I'm super glad they hid things in the background here for us to take a look at. Now let's let's watch again because there's one little clip at the end here that he just swings. Like right now, he just he's swinging stuff. Like, yeah, see he's swinging and it looks like a little dust cloud flying up in the air. I wonder what that is. If you guys have any thoughts of what it could be, go ahead and let me know. Also, it looks like the, the regular guys back there are just barbarians. Uh, maybe some more spearmen, something like that. So definitely a hidden unit hiding back in the back like that. That's it. I'm surprised I saw that. 
I just saw one little blue dude on the first time we looked at it, and uh, I don't know. But he, he's swinging something green. It must be like rocks. I have no idea what that thing is. So if you guys have a suggestion of what you think that is, or if you if you have any ideas uh, what it could be, go ahead and let me know, because uh, that looks like a really fun unit in the background there. All right, guys. So we had a lot of fun looking at those new units in there. I'm, it's really interesting. I'm, I'm really glad they decided to go ahead and throw some secret units into the map. Uh, looked really, really neat back there. Uh, I, I really am looking forward to seeing. I just want to get my hands. I know you guys do, too. I really want to get my hands on a new build of the game, but I think that'll be quite a while off. Anyway, we're going to keep going into some more viewer battles that you guys have today. So if you have anything, I'm going to go no limits on this one. Just try to keep the money under or at or under... 30,000. I guess that'll be it. And try to keep it. I can't really go over about 400 units on the map. So 40,000 money under 400 units and, and have fun with it. And we're going to try to get some big battles, some massive battles that you guys have for the next video. Uh, so we're going to start off today with Guy Jeff. Jeff says to do this contraption. We have a couple Axemen in here. Oh, wait. There we go. A couple Axemen in here. We got a Super Peasant. Or wait. A uh, Super Boxer should have been. A Super Boxer. Got the wrong one in there. Super Boxer. We have 10 of the Head Butters. We got two Samurai Masters. A big army of uh, soldiers there with their uh, spears and shields. One cannon in the back. Two catapults on the sides. And I'm trying to see what you guys said against this. Now, uh, Jana... Phillips says to do one super peasant. Now, I'm interested in this. I really am interested on what will happen right away at the beginning here. Oh, cannon blast. Wow. Oh, my. They've they've totally dominated each other. Looks like the super peasant is going... Ooh, we got hit. Okay, the super peasant and the boxer are going to be... Wow. Okay. <laughs> are you stuck? Uh-oh. Is he stuck? He's, he's hugging him. Oh, the, the guy is dead now. Ooh, a great hit from the catapults. It looks like the super peasant may win this. Oh, did you see that? He just totally ducked under that cannonball blast. Uh-oh. Oh, that oh, was so close. He's confused now. Whoa. <laughs> did you see him duck and dive backwards? That was awesome. Oh, he just picked up the shield, man. Oh, no. Here's, here it is. Ooh, right in the face with a cannon. Can that cannon take him out? Oh, and another shot with the cannon. Oh, that was great. That was great. Oh, ooh, missed. Oh, got hit. Oh, he dived in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here it comes. Oh, right in the face. Can you do it? Can you do a catapult? Fire again. Fire again. Oh, you went right over his brain. Oh, it took you down. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, yeah, that was that was fun. I kind of want to try it again. Uh, let's wait. Let's go back. Let's put in maybe two of the neon boxer. Ooh, we could do a beamer. That'd be even better. Let's try a single beamer against this. This might actually make the difference right here. Depends on if that beamer hits anything on their own team, which he does, obviously. Ooh, he took out his own cannon. Oh, that's not good. But he is injured now. He did get hit with the beamer. That was a perfect shot. And I think he might have missed that one. Can catapult ball is coming in. Come on, beamer. Uh-oh. And there's the beamer. Oh, the beamer missed that time. But he got rolled over with the catapult rock. And that one missed. Come on. Shoot him. Oh, that looked like it went right around him. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Oh, he's going after the catapult next. Oh, he's going after the beamer next. Oh, what just happened? <laughs> he's confused. He doesn't know where he's going. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? So the, the beamers... Oh, that was... You just... You, Mr. Catapult, you just killed your friend. I hope you know that. And right in his face. That'd be great. Oh, there's the victory again. These super peasants and the, the dark peasants are so, so strong. Now, the other suggestion here of the same person is four axemen and 20 spear throwers. This could be really close. I'm guessing the ranged units are still going to dominate over there. Ooh, especially with those catapult balls rocking through. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Throw those spears. Throw the spears. No, at the peasant, at the boxer guy. You got to throw them at the boxer guy. Guys, oh, this is a mess. What a mess. Oh, there's only one left. Oh, get wrecked. They're down. They're done. Oh, wait. No, oh, he's up. Oh, and he's down again. <laughs> that was fun. Okay, so shield gaming. Kind of says another one here. And this is one Axeman, two shields, and 40 peasants. I'm going to scale this one up until we can complete it. Oh, man, that Axeman just got ripped apart by the... Ooh, he switched backwards. So I'm going to continue this one until we have enough peasants in here. Oh, I should take out... Let's take out this guy. And let's double up the peasants right away. Okay, we took out the beamer because that was not in the original plans. And we'll see if this works. The peasant swarms are very, very strong. They're a little bit overpowered, but they are very squishy. So this might or might not work. It really, really depends on some lucky shots with the cannons and the catapults. And if this super boxer can go down, 
I have a feeling the Super Boxer is... Oh, man, this is bad. This is bad for the blue team. Oh, he got hit with a rock. So I doubled the peasants again. There's 160 coming in. Oh, and then shield guy got rocked in the back. Oh, and a nice cleave. Wait, wait. We're going for the red team, aren't we? Look at these. Look at that Super Boxer mashing all the faces. Pow, 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 pow. Yes. Go, go, go. Is he going to do it? They don't seem to be aggroing on him. They don't seem to do any damage to him. Oh, I think he just killed his friend. And then we have the samurai in. Uh-oh. Oh, that guy just got... There's 160 already dead? Are you kidding me? None of the super units died. Wow. Okay, I doubled it again. 320 peasants. This will be the last attempt. If it works, it'll work. If not, it's done. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I gotta slow it down, though, because it's got a low frame rate. Yeah, I'm not gonna do 600 units in there. Oh, oh the headbutter. Oh, nice headbutt there. I really want to see the super boxer go down. He is so dangerous. Oh, they took out, looks like they took out the catapult. That's good. The other catapult, is he out yet? Are you down now? Are you down, Mr. Catapult? The catapult is down. And now we just have the super units left. There's a good shot with the fireball. Keep on going. Keep on, up, up, up. It looks like that stupid boxer in the middle. He's starting to get swarmed. Everyone's kind of coming in at him. But these axemen are still doing trouble. We still have a couple shield guys left. There's one spearman that's alive. I don't think we can do this. I don't think the the, the peasants are going to be able to beat that boxer. Or anything else, really. Oh, we just lost a spearman. Or the red team just lost a spearman to friendly fire. Oh, right. Smack dab in the midsection. And this this guy, is he still alive? Mr. Bear Man? Bear's dead. <laughs> it's funny. Silly bear is still dead. And, um, Wow. We still have one bear, looks like two peasants on this side. We got a couple peasants over there. How's this bear battle gonna go? Ooh, what a nice cleave. Knock that ax right out of his hand. Now we'll see, we're gonna see. Here, here comes, oh, nice hit. And he got hit twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, he is done. And it looks like there's two peasants remaining. I don't think it's possible to kill that super boxer with everything. So let's just try it. Super boxer versus that whole big army. Oh, I should have slowed it down. Oh, we're all right, we're in good speed. Can he do it? Can that super boxer kill 320 peasants? I kind of like that span, that just a big angry army of peasants trying to kill one super boxer. It works pretty good in slow motion. Look at, look how fast their eyes change. <laughs> he barely swings and he kills like six guys with one hit. Now that guy's floating. He's like, I'm up here in this guy. Oh, <laughs> that's friendly fire if I've ever seen it. Get dead though. Oh, everyone's surrounded him. They've surrounded him really good. Oh, is he, is he gonna get to die? The Axeman is in like perfect position to keep raining down death from above. Look at that nice chop across the chest. Uh-oh, he turned, he turned. Is he gonna come after the big bear? <laughs> He's hiding, he's dead, he's dead, they did it. The blue swarm killed him. Okay, so next up, this is kind of a mess. This is by Lucky Slime. It is Jurassic Park versus the Jurassic World. And I totally messed it up because he wanted Jurassic World on the blue side and I put it on the red. So you have two chariots here, the gyrospheres, 10 laser pistols or stun guns, 10 energy swords in the back or a stun, stun sticks. Wow, that's a tough word to say. The Indominus Rex here is the chicken man man. Hillary is on the side as Claire, and then four axes are Blue, Delta, Charlie, and Echo, the Velociraptors. Then on the other side, we have three axes who are Velociraptors, and this is Jurassic Park. Two catapults who represent the helicopters, uh, one chicken man man who is the T-Rex, and 15 laser pistols as the stun guns. One Trump who is Mr. Alan Grant, I don't remember, there you are, Trumper. And one footman who's Dave, Dave's in the back, commanding the army. And I don't know who's going to win. I really have no idea who's going to win. I'm guessing... Wow! <laughs> I think we're all winners from seeing that uh, chariot just get dominated by... I don't even know what it was. Oh, look at this! Okay, it might be just a, a chicken man man hug fest for a while. We'll have to see. Oh, man! The laser pistol... Ooh, chicken man? Nope, he's not dead. Laser pistols are going to town! Or they're getting gone to town on. That didn't make sense. Uh-oh. Oh, look, I just got wrecked right in the face. Oh, and he cut through. Uh, oh, the chickens! The chickens for the win! And we are, it looks like a uh, blue team has a little bit of an advantage here. We'll see. I, you know, you haven't done a chicken man man versus chicken man man before. Wow! In a long time. <laughs> that totally hit both of them. Now we have all the dumb chickens coming in. Ooh, hit them right in the leg. Uh, the dumb chicken army spam. Another good hit on the legs of himself. 
This is gonna take forever in a weekend. I forgot how bad these two fight against each other. It's just little tiny chicken spam. Oh, and the catapult's gone. Hey, a red victory. <laughs> I guess that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. All right, next up we have Pen to Pen Gaming. It says, beat my army of 40 Vikings, 12 Axemen, seven spear throwers with 50 headbutters in the front. And Dark Foxy decided to challenge back with 50 beamers, two master Jedis, and the rest being headbutters. This is a pretty nasty battle. Uh, we have a lot of guys here. These guys are low hit points. We're going to see. I'm guessing if these 50 beamers decide to go off, then it's going to be pretty nasty. Also, these Master Jedis in here, the Energy Swordmasters. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. There's still a few guys alive, um, sort of. Oh, look at the Headbutter. Headbutter? Oh, Headbutter's dead. Wow. There. That's a that's a pure on blue victory there. So let's get rid of half these guys. Okay, I got rid of them. The, the actual, let's look here. The uh, blue spent so that the, it's kind of the same. Actually, let's even it up directly. Can I do that? Uh, one more? Yeah, wait, one more. Okay, that's pretty close. That is really close right there. So let's see what happens with relatively equal amount of money. And there's only like 15 or so of those uh, energy guys. Uh, energy beamers in the background. These guys can really hold well. Man, look at that cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. Oh, dirty. Now, the first of the beamers are ready to go. There they go. Oh, they just blasted right through. Looks like it killed one of the energy sword masters, though. It might have. I think it did. Uh oh, there's the other one right over there. Is he going to be able to, to wipe the floor at all these axemen? Oh, he's dead. There's the red victory. Oh, we need to even it up. Let's even it up with a bunch of headbutters on the blue side. Okay, we got we got the headbutters in now. I like I like watching the headbutter action. Head to head, it's like cows attacking each other. Whoa! <laughs> That's funny. That's funny stuff. Uh, and now what are they going to do? Oh, they're all jumping down in the corner here. We have spear throwers trying to throw in. The beamers just wipe the floor again. We have both of the sword masters up this time. Oh, and he just took out two bears. It looks like he's going to get hit with spears. Look at that. Take him out with spears. Headbutter coming in. Boom, right in the face. Oh, and right in the rock. And the beamers hit. So what's next? What's still alive? Oh, there's the blue victory. Very, very neat. Okay, so final thing is Luke. Luke Heng... Hen... Can't talk. Hengst. Must be. H-E-N-G-S-T. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Says, beat my dark peasant using only money. Uh, 20,000 money. So we're going to try with seven of the M16s. And this is from... I can't... Davidig is here? Sure. That, that'd work. And we'll start that out. Oh, man. So this is the whole idea is that we might be able to do it with just the knockback from the M16s. And it might work. Looks like they are knocking them back. It took out three. Oh, took out four. Took out five. Took out six. Took out seven. Oh, he's not. Oh, wait. This guy's still alive. He's still alive. He can do it. Obi-Wan Kenobi, you are our only hope. Pow, 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 pow. Nope. <laughs> that didn't work. How many does it take? And there's my cat at the door. She wants inside to play. And it's really hot in my room right now. Okay, let's uh, add some more here. Is this gonna work? It looks like, oh, they still haven't knocked him back. Uh-oh. Oh, oh they, they might have him stuck now. Might have him stuck in perpetual loop of being knocked back. Oh no, he's coming in. He's coming in. Hey, they got him. There's the red victory, so it took a bunch more. Anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for today. Go ahead and drop down your super battle that we talked about at the beginning of this, and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.